Well, hello everybody. Mitchell Osborne here. Thanks for jumping on my YouTube or wherever you're watching this. Um, I'm a psychic medium, tarot card reader, animal communicator, and a mindfulness transformation coach. But today, right now, I am going to be doing an unboxing of a deck that I kickstarted, that I backed, and I'm trying to remember, Michael Anthony, it may have been from when I'm recording this, which is like middle of January, it may have been like a year ago, because I really think it was pre-pandemic, but I was all in when I first heard the topic, the title, and it was Small Spirits Oracle Deck, and this is a beautiful, beautiful deck. So this is the box you're looking at right now, the the, the front of the box. Um, it's a nice box that slides apart, but I got lots to show you. So look at the inside. Look around. Listen up. Gorgeous. Look at just the detail of everything. This is just not something simple. Here is the book. Um, the field guide and it's a it's a it's a typical little white book with um, you know pretty much good instructions throughout there um, you know me I'm always gonna be looking for a spread so let's see if there is a spread in the beginning um, or the end I'll just do a little quick look oh there's a lot there's a lot oh there's a spread the adventures uh, the adventures the adventurers spread so there's at least one spread in there. Oh, there's more. Okay, now I'm, I'm hooked. I'm sold. So this is the beautiful little white book, and it's a nice little, like, hardcover book. So now the bottom of the box, um, black, you can see, and then here's the back. Let's see if that'll zoom, if that'll get me better there. So, yeah, you can see a little bit more of that, some images on the back, and then inside the card, just beautiful, beautiful little, like, it looks like a dandelion. There's something else up there, a little star. So just beautiful, beautiful box. Now, here is, whew, one of my favorite colors is green. You can see by literally like right here, right up there is green. Look at the edging on this deck. It comes this way. And here is the back of the deck. So if it's reversed or not, it's going to look the same. Gorgeous. So I'm going to move through these quickly and just ooh and ah like I normally do. Um, I'm going to have to read this book because the deaf, I mean, I can work with the animals like how I feel with them and connect with them, but then I need to look through this book and see the definitions that, that they've come up with. So here is the aphid. So let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Oh, okay. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this, this could be tricky. I thought I planned this out. I thought I planned this out better, but I want to zoom in for you. All right, so there, that way you can get a little bit better view. So aphid, all right, and the red bug. Oh, I love the, the subtlety of colors, and I think I've seen a few that are just kind of like in black and white. This is the black widow, speaking of black and white, black widow. Let's see if that'll zoom in on that a little bit better. And... The bumblebee, there's one, just all black and white. I love it. I love it. The butterfly, obviously they're going in alphabetical order. And what do we have here? This is the candy striped leaf hopper. What the hell? I have never heard of that in my life. Holy moly. Now this I know, caterpillar, and I recognize that one. Definitely seen that growing up in the world. Centipede. Beautiful. Chrysalis. Oh, man, I love this. Just, I knew, I knew this was going to be amazing. Um, the cicada. I think they're very noisy creatures. The cockroach. Don't you, don't be hating on the cockroach. I'm a native Floridian. Cockroaches have been in part of my life, my entire life. The only time I'm afraid of them is when they take flight. But they definitely have a message for us. Cricket. Now, the cricket I'm more afraid of. <laughs> Actually, the big grasshopper, the big yellow ones. Um, oh, daddy long legs. Oh, I love spiders. Oh, my goodness. The death watch beetle. Am I saying? Yes, death watch beetle. I love it. And then dragonflies I have a huge affinity for. I think part of it is because growing up around water, these creatures are born in water, then take flight. Um, you know, I'm a Pisces, so I love the idea of taking flight one day. Earthworm, again, native Floridian, get to see a lot of these this morning. On my walk, I saw two of them. It was quite cold. And I am one of those that when I'm walking, if I see them squirming, because if I go in the morning and the sun's coming up, they'll bake on the, on the concrete. I will flick them back in the grass so they can a little bit longer. Fire ants, again, native Floridian, we get a lot of these. Flea, yes, 
oh, I bet you they've got an important message for us because they're so involved in our lives. Nats, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is this? Golden Target Tortoise Beetle. Wow. Wow. There's that grasshopper. Yeah, that's the one that, yeah, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's because my brother used to throw them on me. Oh, my gosh. The Hercules Beetle. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Honey Bee. Housefly. I am one of those that will try to rescue a housefly, yes. Inchworm. I don't see a lot of these in my life, but I've definitely seen a few. The Katie did. Oh, definitely love these because of that green. For me, when I see a Katie did, I'm almost like, okay, you're not real. Just the vibrancy of the color. It's almost like, who made you this green? It's literally like my green. It, and it almost looks like it's an oddity sitting there in nature. All right. Ladybug. Yes, lots of these. Lightning bug. Yes. Again, native Floridian grew up seeing a lot of these. All right. Michael Anthony, love bug. We got to love them. You got to love them. They will destroy our car and stuff like that. I, I, I can't, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to seeing what their message is for us. And then the Luna moth. I, I, I love moths as well. That whole kind of nighttime creature. Maggot. All right, people. This whole deck is about those small spirits that literally are often not liked not wanted, but boy, they have messages for us, people. And then probably my most, like, how do I put how I feel about a mantis? Um, how I feel about a mantis is similar to how I feel about horses. There's such reverence for them. There's such this regality. I don't get to see them a lot. I don't interact with them a lot. But when I have, I'm just in awe of them. I, I think they have high, high intelligence. Um, marbled moth, beautiful. Again, I love the choice of colors or lack thereof. And they're mirror spider. Mosquito. Again, native Floridians, we know, we know. Oh, Picasso bug. Once again, a, a creature I've never heard of before. Roly poly. Definitely grew up with these. Definitely grew up with these. Scare beetle. Never, I don't think I've ever seen one like in real life. Maybe I have, I just didn't know it. Scorpion. Never seen one. Shining flower beetle. Wow. Oh, slugs. Lots of slugs in Florida. And I, they, I love when they leave that trail. I have to see, again, I'm looking, I'm going to look. I'm going to look up. Snails. Yes, again, Florida. Lots of these babies around. Oh. Sri Lanka weevil, never heard of it, never seen one. <gasps> Stick bug, yes, definitely seen these in Florida growing up here. Sugar ants, yes, absolutely. Termites, yes. <laughs> Not a lot because we just don't build wooden houses in Florida. Thorn bug, I don't think I've ever seen one. Beautiful. Tick, definitely. Wasp, yes. Oh, they I know their message is important. They've come into our house a lot. And then last one, the water strider. Definitely seen these two in Florida. So there is your gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Small spirit oracle deck. Michael Anthony and Hannah Shaler. Hope I'm pronouncing both correctly. So wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Wow, just Beautiful, beautiful deck. I look forward to digging into the meanings and working with this a little bit more. All right. Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, reposting, all that good stuff. Namaste. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.